Hello everybody and welcome to Hilton, right next to the village of Eggington and around about 9 miles from Derby and 5 miles from Burton upon Trent. I'm right beside the active Derby to Crewe Railway and I've just walked the former Great Northern Railway from Michelover to Hilton and where Eggington Station still stands but is long closed since the 1960s. I'm here on the site of what was once Hilton MOD site. A quick look at maps then, this is railmaponline.com. You can see the village of Hilton in that area around the centre top. We've got the red line coming down from the top right. That was the former route from Derby. We covered that in our last video, heading down to Eggington Junction. Eggington Station was just down there and the route carried on as if it was going towards Burton upon Trent. The blue line left to right is between Crewe and also off towards Derby on the right hand side. We're concentrating on this central section here. I'll zoom right in. You can see those blue lines going from left to right. There's a bunch of sidings just there and this one going up towards the top left hand corner. And that is the access railway into what was the former MOD site. Now covered in a housing estate. We can go to an older map around about 1900 for this one and you can see the MOD site does not exist but interestingly the sidings do. These sidings have been around and predated the MOD site by quite a long time. We've got an old gravel pit there as well whether that was used at any time for the sidings. Eggington Junction and Eggington Station just on the right hand side. Now I did find a few images of the buildings of the MOD site online. There are very few and far between. These ones were taken by a user called Odeon Master. So very grateful that he was there to take the photos back when this location was in fact disused and abandoned. But there's nothing else really on site or on the internet that we can actually go back and have a look at. There was one time that the sidings was also used for the Royal Train, apparently on a few occasions. So that's something else quite interesting, isn't it? All this land around me used to be a Ministry of Defence, an MOD side, Hilton MOD, and I believe it closed in 1981, and it was rail served as many of these locations actually were. Now, it's not had training here for over 40 years since closure, but a year or so ago I did see a picture that seemed to show a piece of track work still in situ. How long it is, I don't know, it could be a foot, it could be 10 foot, it could be the length of the actual site itself. So come with me and I'm going to hopefully discover something extraordinary because I love this sort of explore where you go in blind and you come out with all manner of reward. Yeah, spot something we're going to try and keep you out of the glare got this fence lot and then there's another steel or metal bar going through there and just there on the left look is a post just there I'm aware that was pretty difficult to see because of the sun's glare but I'm gonna god this is muddy I'm gonna carry on see if I can get anything else to show you I think I can see something down here. There we go, look, look at that. So old abandoned rails and a gate going into like a little yard complex just there. Um, and this seems to curve off towards going away from this. So the main line is quite a few meters over there. But there are more tracks in there. And also, look at that. So that's like a little curve going in. It was probably the main line onto the sides. These peculiar old concrete sleepers. Got gaps in the middle, look. It's a bit clearer over here. There we go. Look at those. 
They're quite smart, aren't they? I've never seen sleepers like that before. I'm quite curious to see how far these go. I can't see it being very, very far. But there are still, moving away from that a moment, I don't think I can get to them. But as close as I can get, and I've popped the camera over, there are more sidings in those woods, look, you see them. There's at least two tracks in there. Over there, look. Wow. So back over here, and we'll head back to the track that we can walk along. I'm not saying I can't get to that, I'm just saying at this point I can't get to that. But we know what I'm like for saying I can't get to something, and then eventually I do. So, we just creep through here. There's a nice little clear section coming up, look. That's all right, isn't it? It's probably looking even better with the um, autumn leaves. You can see the housing estate in the background of where it was all built on. You can see the curvature of the route as well, just going around where it joined onto the main line. I mean, I'm quite amazed that this has been left couple of chairs and a little cover up there I'm assuming it's just going to get severed at some point I don't think I can get that way let's try I like this bit it's still got all them sleepers look just for something to do with it being an internal section of railway line there we go look so it continues on now beyond here I mean I can get back out onto the fields but I'm assuming the track is going to be gone at this point. See, it hits that tree. Great big concrete lump. No, it's still there, look. Just. And then the other side of the tree, it is not present now. Is it buried or has it gone? I think it's gone. But if I poke through there, look, you can see a sleeper just there. That's the last one and the rail is cut off. So it has been removed. Now the other track work again would be over here. But I'm still assuming there's going to be no way of getting to that. Why that's fenced off, I don't know. Because it's not like it's... Well, it might be immediately next to the main line. I'm unsure. It doesn't look like I'm going to get to it. Yeah, there it is again, look. One, two, two sections of track. And the main line is not far the other side of it. Right, I found a little opening. Well, it's quite a big opening, to be honest. I've just wandered over to this very first one. You can see the second piece of track work just there. Now, I'm not going any further than this because there is another fence and then it's the active railway. But this is good to see and get up close. And you've got the old perimeter fencing post as well. Look. or stretcher bar I'm not really sure of the name of that someone will correct me on that that's a nice piece isn't it right on the joint of rail curiously there's no joint on the opposite side though so that's two separate sections on one rail and a continuous let's find out when the joint actually is it's just here look right there 
And again, there's another one of them bars just there. But no join there. So it's probably because with it being on a curve, it's not in line. Right, so we know that goes no further in that direction. That's the end of that. So I'm going to have a look at the bit which joined on to where those other two sidings were. I think it gated off, which would make sense with all the fencing that's running along those two sidings beside the main line. But it'd be good to have a look, nevertheless. Just a little way down here. It's a great big concrete boulder. Yeah, look, there we go. So it is gated off. Now, they all wooden sleepers or something to do with... No, that's an old... That's an old gate post, isn't it? Probably the original one before these metal ones were put up. Got a bracket on there. So there's that gate I was telling you about, which was probably present here. The rails do continue through. And the other two tracks are just there. One and two. And the main line is just there. See that glistening bit? That's where the light's bouncing off. And there we go. It's remarkable, isn't it, that these are still just sat here. These images by Paul Worthington taken around about eight or nine years ago show us what the sidings look like as they continued away from the bit we've just been looking at. But the track has been lifted. You can see in the distance that there are buildings erected, the houses. So this gives you a rough idea of the amount of sidings that were once here. And clearly there was only recently lifted, weren't they? So we know that on the other side of the gate, there's a couple of concrete gate posts there, look, one and two. And the set of point work is just down there. We know the other side of that is going to join onto those two sidings that run along the main line. I can see all three of them together now. I can't really get much further down here. And there's, I put my hand over for the sun, but there's those two gate posts, look, just there. So they were probably more unique to this than before the metal ones went in just there. Just there, you might be able to make out all three, one, two, three separate pieces of track work just there. So the two in the distance again stay together parallel, and that nearest to us is the one that we followed curved around to the main MOD site. So, what an amazing little find, a nice nugget of history hidden away near Burton on Trent. And I do hope you've enjoyed this video. It was all over there, so that piece of track was just there. And it came in across here following pretty much where that pylon is and over to the houses so thank you very much for joining me in this short little explore it reminded me a little bit of tip shelf sidings if you've not seen that make sure you do it's very very good anybody else like this comment below see you in the next one bye bye